there are specific challenges. As I mentioned, the communication is a problem solved. So other data that we've looked at in the past has shown that LRs are true. You're now asking them to carry your children. Uh, we, we do have people on a safety console who are making sure they are safe. Um, and then, of course, uh, we have certain um, what are called IRB uh, regulations with things that we successfully completed Chapia Mission 1, uh, where we had a crew in isolation and confinement for 378 days. They left the habitat uh, last year. We're getting ready for Chapia Mission 2, which will begin on October 19th. We've carefully chosen a crew to be very astronaut-like, both in terms of their backgrounds, but also in terms of their personalities and ability to work as a team. This is a really important operational evaluation of human health and performance that NASA do, is doing in preparation to land the first humans on Mars. Uh, in Chapia, we mimic what is the Mars surface habitat expected resource restrictions. So limited communication uh, with Earth. will have to deal with whatever comes their way. They'll have to problem solve when they're subjected to these conditions, and they'll have to do that with mission control on really just an extended remote support role because they won't get information back for about 44 minutes later. So that crew will have to use incredible teamwork. I can expect uh, that crews would uh, perform uh, anything from geological surveys and runs to think about uh, exploring their uh, environment in depth in terms of uh, exploring a, a lava tube or uh, trying to go out and uh, fully understand uh, the composition of the Martian soil that's around there. So uh, doing things like excavation uh, based activities uh, or even uh, you know, doing uh, soil sampling based runs. And so uh, one of the big important factors of understanding what the uh, soil and geological composition is of the Martian regolith is to really help with uh, doing some in-situ resource utilization or using your localized resources uh, to help build out a uh, 3D printed habitat. With the uh, one-third Mars gravity during the uh, replicating what you would anticipate on um, so what we, when we built Chapia, what we tried to do otherwise way to go, we went with what the experts would learn and just realizing this is about the interaction. This area here is to analyze samples that they will collect on their Mars spacewalks that they can bring back in and understand and provide data back on comm delay to mission control to better inform our understanding of the Martian surface. It is designed to do. It's a comprehensive, integrated, operating important in a Mars restricted resource environment. Um, importantly, we select crews using similar approaches that we would for astronauts, like to be able to work as a team, things like that. Once they get one year, four, four, five years, and then Yes, we have crew members with different roles. Uh, in the crew mission one, we had. So we know already that um, aerobic uh, exercise or cardiovascular activity is extremely important, um, as well as resistance training, um, specifically for the fact that they're not going to be on Earth gravity. Um, so when they don't have that gravity, um, it affects a lot of uh, musculoskeletal systems, um, so bone, muscle, and we want them to be as healthy as possible. It would be considered major emergencies, but then um, ultimately, What important countermeasures do we need to develop for the sticking points around teamwork? Well, our crop growth ex experts um, look at what different possible uh, foods that could be grown are. And examples of that would be leafy greens and tomatoes, um, whereas they're still working on other possibilities. And the 378-day duration, what the crew using it? So 
so that might come from this material, which I believe was the first of its kind. This technology is continuing to be explored on things like uh, the... So Chapia was actually 3D printed uh, with a, a concrete solution, but the technology was mimicking how we might make a habitat on Mars from the Mars regolith or soil. Why that's important is you're always restricted on what you can send to Mars. We don't have endless ability to supply, and so the more you can use things that are already in the Martian surface or that you can recycle over time are a great opportunity to save save that payload for other things that you would like to send. But yeah, this isn't the transit vehicle, right, which is...